I would like to ask uh, Valmir uh, Marquez to present uh, the first paper. This paper is actually a paper that has already been presented internationally at the uh, America's Conference of Information Systems uh, a few week, two weeks ago in Boston. And now uh, we'll have a chance of knowing a little bit more about that directly from Valmir. So please, Valmir, you thank you. Hi, good morning, everyone. So I will speak about the collective intelligence and the mapping of access flow in the city. This is uh, our research. My name is Valmir, uh, and the professor uh, Joanna. And our agenda. I will talk about introduction and motivation about our research, uh, the knowledge areas, uh, the depth of my research, a uh, systematic character review that we finished presentation yet. Uh, the methodology results and verified guess. Okay. About introduction motivation, uh, why we do this job? Uh, we want to improve the mobility, human mobility from people, uh, impaired people, especially uh, visually and mobility people. So we have this situation in our cities and especially in Brazil, uh, the poor sidewalks and uh, these people just want to go, but we have this situation actually here, okay? And our idea is use the crowdsourcing to uh, improve, uh, uh, improve the situation. So we want to, to use the power of the crowd to, to uh, get ideas, collect intelligence, to, to make a map, to mapping the uh, occurrence in the city, okay? about our research and knowledge areas. So we will talk about social inclusion, uh, information, communication technologies, the ICs, collecting intelligence, and collaborative and accessible maps. Okay. So the social inclusion, uh, we, we get here some, some things about the, the, the disability. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the disability is not a very to study in my teaching field. So, uh, it's quite a positive. The disability can be a motivator to incentive uh, other people to participate and uh, get an idea to want to help the other. And if you have incentive from the family, you can uh, improve this, this collective intelligence, okay? And uh, there is no culture or educational barriers to, to include the citizen. So we need to, to uh, make a difference and uh, include the people in our society, okay? About collective intelligence, what is this? So collective intelligence is something that happens collectively, and we we believe that uh, uh, diversity uh, can be the difference that uh, just one people uh, doing something. Okay? And during the last century, uh, very scientists arrived to study this, try to understand this uh, this phenomenon, and believe that uh, working groups can be better than uh, you work individually. Okay. And uh, the collective intelligence was increased uh, by, especially after the Web 2.0. About the collaborative and accessible maps. Uh, so what is this? Is the generation and use the map collectively. Uh, it's a map gen generated with the collaboration uh, and can uh, solve the ease of the problem the Uber urban mobility. Uh, and uh, nowadays there is very few uh, navigation systems that are targeted to the bedroom. So our approach is to, 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 to change the, the situation. So about the steps of my research. So the step one uh, we have done is the state of the art. We, we did a systematic literature review about the accessible map. Uh, the step two is in progress, is a literature review about motivation and scientific methods uh, in mobile crowd sensing. Uh, we, we want to understand uh, what motivates the user to contribute to a mobile application to get information. Uh, the third, uh, step three is to, to do is a development of a mobile app. Uh, we intend to, to make an MVP in video proxy to be able to, to test this, this idea. And the step four is evaluate the equity and analyze the results. Okay. So the step one, uh, as the professor said, we present in Amsterdam, Boston. 
is a systematic literature review about uh, the state of the art of the uh, the astrophotometry. Maps. Okay. Our methodology: we we made a systematic literature review uh, published by in a, in a four uh, electronic libraries: uh, AES, IEEE, uh, ACM, and Periodical Traffic, and we. Uh, Finding uh, for the term accessible maps. We found the 592 papers, and after applying the methodological procedures, we uh, get 43 papers that include in the corpus of this, this research. Okay? So our, our results is on the 43 papers. Results. We found the uh, 18 uh, publications. That uh, is special to maps from uh, people people with the uh, uh, wheelchair users uh, and support with the uh, walking stick, other uh, adults with the uh, mothers with the uh, kids in a stroller, and uh, other 22 papers uh, and maps for visually impaired and blind people. Okay, so it's a division in the two two results that we found. About collective intelligence and approach, we found uh, uh, only 12, uh, 12 papers uh, using cross visual surfing. Only three of them focus in visual impaired. Uh, another approach that we, we found uh, is that we have information gathering. Sensors installed in the wheelchair, smartphone, and accelerometer, uh, and open data. And the papers with uh, focus on people with mobility limitation, we identified some features that uh, are existing with segments or of occurrences or of the by users, uh, of the quality rating, discussion of the users' privacy issues, uh, open data as an alternative data source of information, uh, some researches are right to consider user and then growth limitations and the size of the overall chair and the uh, <coughs> Uh, there is some features that why phones to activate or playback instruction, uh, data captured by automatic sensors, and uh, some papers are ready to talk about the uh, incentives to contribution or participation of users, especially using rating and gamification. Okay? The papers that we found, uh, especially to visual impaired people, uh, this paper is uh, greatly concerned about the device, the equipment to make uh, the, the roads understand by blind people, okay? So they, they are uh, working in making some device that blind people understand and uh, can use this device. So they are talking about the uh, design of platform apps, the maps of devices, uh, some techniques of mapping words, text to speech and mapping symbols, uh, recording and playback of instruction, integration of various devices, so computer, tablet, smartphones, uh, test of accessibility on the web, and particular design. So when you talk about maps for uh, physical departments, we already have routing, as, uh, uh, and we talk about maps for departments people who with still own devices. Okay? Some interesting <coughs> gaps that we found in the so in, in the practice in Brazil, there is very few results. Uh, I, I, I didn't found no one application in, in using in Brazil, actually. Uh, collective intelligence is a red somewhat slight but the user motivation for collaboration is very little exploit, only by a few studies. So I, we think that we can exploit more these this, this, this thing, we use more uh, far more collaboration and motivation for the users. Uh, non of social net network is used as data search of uh, additional collective intelligence. So Twitter is not used in no one of the, the papers. Another is it in the gap. So we didn't see uh, no one solution available for the both physical and, and, and part uh, users. So we believe that despite the great difference of the two decisions, we can use it uh, collecting intelligence generated by the both public, okay? And uh, then explore other incentive maps for greater new users 
such as uh, PCL, PCGs are not vertical because our project is a PCL project. So we need to, we want to use uh, this approach to get rid more users, okay? So I think I, I speak very fast. My English is not good, but uh, <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, feel free to do. I, I have one, of course, uh, not, not, not a question, actually, uh, just a comment on things that happened there at the presentation of this paper uh, at Hamses, is that while we were presenting the first slide where you show those streets with the, the sidewalks that are really impossible for someone who has uh, a disability, there was someone knocking at the door that could not get into the room. And then people were getting annoyed, why are they knocking, why don't they get in? And then suddenly someone went there and opened the door, and it was someone, a, a, an American professor in a wheelchair, you know, trying to come in and see what research you were doing. So uh, you have to see that although we are still in a very preliminary stage, you are already calling the attention yeah, yeah. of people to your work. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Tomir. Uh, any questions? I have Please. One. <laughs> in one of your slides, you mentioned that. One approach is using sensors in wheelchairs. What for? Uh, just we found in one study that uh, sensors. Yes, yeah. uh, the research uh, in South to study that about uh, the elevation, uh, the situation in in the uh -huh. sidewalk. So we could identify that. So, so if you look around the our university, you see that floor in the sidewalk is not good. So the wheelchair is so. To capture uh, the quality of the sidewalk. Okay. okay. Then the wheelchair can automatically yes. react. Yes. Um, well, and, and not only that, but uh, the, the, that wheelchair can send uh, messages yes. that will yes. feed uh, the accessible map with information, even with the slope. For example, the wheelchair is going slower than it usually goes, uh, and then uh, the, the the system could realize, okay, so this is a slope; it's going up, or it's going. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, there are several possibilities uh, yeah. and there. Another wheelchair can receive this data and uh, already uh, prepares. Or, yeah. or not, not directly, not directly, yeah. but that could feed an accessible map that if someone else that is uh, in a wheelchair uh, wants to uh, decide on, on the best way, the uh, best to, way to go to from go. one place to the other, they will say, don't take this road because this is really sloping or this is really a, a hill, right, or whatever. This is a very, very good case yes. for linked data yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and smart city yeah, and yeah. Uh, IoT. Yeah. Okay, thank See, you. all those topics are really hot topics at the yeah. moment. Everyone yeah. is talking about smart cities and everything. So you have to do. Yeah. Anything else? No. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.